Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My today's video is going to be on four simple and easy to use pandas functions. Unique and unique, n largest and n smallest. They're simple, but they can be very useful if you can use them in right places. Okay, we will start by importing pandas as pd. Okay, the data frame pd dot read csv students performance dot csv. So this is the data. I have the link to the data set in the description box below. Please feel free to download and follow along. So we have gender, race, and ethnicity, math score, reading score, writing score. Okay. Now, look, this race and ethnicity, we can see right here some of them, but look, there are dot dots inside. So one after three, four, we have nine, ninety, five, six, seven, eight. So lots of rows are hidden. Okay. Now, what if I want to know how many unique races we have in this data frame? Okay. Race, ethnicity. Okay. Dot unique. So we have group B, C, A, D, and E. Five of them. All right. So we can do the same with uh, one continuous variable as well. Like let's take the math score. Okay, dot unique. You can see all of these uh, unique values we have in these thousand rows. Now, in race ethnicity, we have only five. So you can see very easily that we have five groups, right? What if we have 17, 20, 21 groups in any categorical variable, right? In any categorical column, if we have uh, really um, that many uh, groups. In that case, we won't be, it's not going to be efficient to keep counting one, two, three, four, five. Or if I want to know the math score, how many unique math score here, it's not going to be very efficient counting them. So we have this n unique. Just add an n, run it, you get, you get to see that we have five races in this data set, okay? If we do the n here, we get to see that we have 81 unique math score in this thousand rows, all right? So this is about unique and n unique. Now, we have scores, math, reading, and writing. Let's try to know the top 10 score of reading score, okay? So df reading score dot n largest. If we do that, we get top five by default. Now, if I want it top 10, I have to mention it here. So if I mention 10, I get 10. So top 10, all 100, very impressive. <laughs> okay, now I want to uh, get the other information as well, not only the score, okay? In that case, what I have to do, n largest, okay, n largest. Now, first we put how many we want. We want 10 data, top 10, right? And we want reading score, top 10 reading score. So look, we have top 10 reading score and we have all the other information as well. So you can see math score and writing score. Also, they are pretty good, right? The students who scored 100 in reading, they score really high in math and writing as well. And you can see the other information. You can see the lunch, most of them got standard lunch. Okay, you can see the race and ethnicity, gender, everything. Now the question is, we can see the top 10 scores are hundreds, all hundreds. Now, uh, is it true that only 10 students got 100? Or there are more students who got 100, but we are not seeing it because we only are focusing on 10. In that case, we can do keep 
all. If we do keep all, it's going to give you all the rows where we have reading score of 100. It gives you the duplicate, okay? So you can see now it's definitely more than 10. Okay, how much? Control C, take the length of this. So 17, total 17 students got 100, okay? So this is uh, about, this was about n largest, and we can do the same with n smallest as well. Instead of largest, just use smallest. Okay, so these are the smallest reading scores, bottom 10. Okay, and if I want, I can use the same as well, the same thing. Control V and smallest. All right, these are the smallest 10 score, and we have only 10, I guess. All right, Control C. Okay, okay, if we had more 31s, okay, it would uh, return out that, so you would see more than 10. But maybe there uh, we have only two thirty ones, the highest values. All right. So that's all I wanted to share today. Just four very simple pandas functions. I hope you find them useful and use them in your projects. If you like them, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.